They had one on the website, sealed, brand new. This is a box from 2003, brand new for $30. Welcome home Rep Pack, it's your boy Marcus here and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest Spongebob and Nickelodeon collection. And also on my team, I have the number one world traveler to my disposal for any information I need about any continent, any state, any county, any zip code. Oh wow. She's been everywhere, man. She's like the world's most interesting dog. She's so distinguished. Me and you can only hope that through our entire lives we can add up to the amount of experience that she's had. A man can dream. <laughs> only dream. I hope you're having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Entertainment Earth Flip! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is here. And today I am extremely excited because, as you guys can see on the table here, we have two packages from Entertainment Earth. This video is actually brought to you guys to my buy Entertainment Earth. They sent everything in these boxes. So, shout out to them. And on screen will be my affiliate link and in the description down below if you guys want to pick up anything from Entertainment Earth or also anything you guys see in this box. It will also help out the channel as well, and I would greatly appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into it, dude. It's going to be an awesome video because I kind of went with like a Patrick theme, so everything in here should be kind of Patrick Star related. I like that. Yes, you guys know how much I love Patrick. He's the only character that I actually have this split up right here, which is the X-Ray Exposed. I love this thing so much. You can see all the food inside of his tummy right there, which is awesome. And they've also released a SpongeBob Exposed one, which Ryan will put on screen. If you guys want to see me get that one, let me know down below. But I still feel like, I mean, if you come over here, it's mostly a lot of yellow. There ain't too much pink. No. There's like no. a little pink there, a little pink here, but I I mean, for the most part, there's a lot of yellow. So I wanted to get a little bit of the best friend in here, which is Patrick Starr. So we have two boxes here. Really don't remember what's in them and what they've sent. So let's get into it. All right, we're going to go with the flat box first. Let's do it. Did you like just strike the air or did you just miss the box? Or what was that? I strike the air and I got my hand ready for the stabbage. Gotcha. See me strike it again? <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, this thing was themed after Patrick Star, and I can already see him. Boom, right here we have the Camp Coral Patrick right here. I did not have this one, so I wanted to get this one for sure. And it's on their site. All the prices will be on screen for everything in this video. But it is by our one of our favorite brands, Kid Robot, right here. So we got the Patrick Star plush. I'm trying to think. Let's go grab all the Patrick Star plushies that I think that are available real quick. Ah! Everything's falling apart in my life. Oh, I can deny it no longer. I have fallen. <laughs> but we have these ones right here. These are the other Camp Cora ones that they've released. We have him with his hat, and this one's also the movie theater release right here. I gotta say, they made them a little bit smaller each time. <laughs> they this... made him more, a little more albino. <laughs> The lighter he gets, Parker, the cuter it is. You don't understand <laughs> Japanese girls. This one's like cute. I love you. This one's got blue eyes, too. They made him as cute as possible. He doesn't even have blue eyes. He looks like a little spiceless Dorito. <laughs> you know what, man? I would take the whole bag. More than the <laughs> serving size. And then you get this one over here. It looks like an ice cream pot, man. He's so bright. He is I saturated. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to go ahead and put this one in the collection as well. But these are all the different Patrick iterations of Camp Coral. We're going to try and get every single one of them. Glad to have some more Patrick in the collection. Before we get the next item, Item out, dude. You can already see what it is. <laughs> I asked Parker real quickly, "What's your favorite Patrick Star moment?" We're gonna see what Parker's is, and after we pull it out, I'm gonna tell you what my favorite one is. I've been thinking a little bit, and uh, honestly, I think it's gotta be a tie between Secret Box episode and the Magic Conch episode. Cause I love how innocently like messed up can be sometimes. Like when Gary shows him when he had the cookie in his pocket. Yeah. Like he didn't care about SpongeBob's feeling, but like in the Magic Conch episode, he's just like so unaware. The Magic Conch thing. Would you say was your favorite? Yeah. 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 Okay. His unawareness, I love it. It's just like, oh, I'm just in my own thing. Like, he doesn't care what's going on for everybody else. It's like, as long as I make it out of this okay, like, it's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But at the same time, he's super wholesome and like a good friend and understanding when it comes down to things. But he's just a little bit, um, unempathetic. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, except when his fake parents come to town. Then he's even frantically trying to clean <laughs> but his But that's body. not empathy. That's just like him not wanting to look like a fool. Yeah, exactly. That's the funny part. It's just like, but he doesn't mean to do that. It's just how he is. Yeah. He's in that right? Right, Janet. You bet, Marty. Janet? Marty? 
Who are you people? All right, I'll tell you mine next, but dude, this one is so freaking cute. I love it. Okay, we're gonna have to unseal it. This one is actually by the brand Funny, I think, which is called, but it's also made by Kid Robot, so it's the same. But dude, this one is so freaking cute. I do like that one. Yeah. Oh, the jelly fishing net, nice. <laughs> he looks so happy, and then not just that, like you said, the fishing net is an actual fishing net right here. You can put like, thing you want inside their little mini figurines or whatever. Sometimes in life, Parker, you need to catch yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> It's not even the lyrics would work. <laughs> but we hit the fishing net. That one is literally what made me want to get the most. Because I want to get a little jellyfish that we can put inside here. A little blue jellyfish. Oh, yeah. That would be so cool. They made that sandwich look so good. Oh, man. When you're, like, stretching it like the cheese <laughs> on a burger. <laughs> but, yeah, we got the Patrick jellyfishing star right here. So far, the two plushes, which is your favorite? Oh, that one. For sure. Yeah, yeah, like, it, ding, 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 no, ding. no question. <laughs> I mean, nothing against Camp Coral. Like, that's a good-looking one. But, like, this one, I feel like, is just more encapsulating of him as a whole. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So what was your uh, your favorite? My favorite moment for sure is like whenever I think of Patrick I always think of like he's like a friend but like you say he's just so empathetic and just doesn't like think the full picture of it. Yeah. But my favorite is when he tries to help Spongebob get better from the sides. <laughs> Don't touch me I'm sterile. Yeah. <laughs> and then like my favorite favorite part of that is when Sandy walks in and Spongebob's strapped onto the freaking <laughs> like he's going through some like medieval torturous medical treatment. <laughs> uh oh it's Sandy. <laughs> But at all costs, I mean, Patrick could have done something else that day. He tried to help Spongebob so that way Spongebob could go to work. <laughs> so that's for sure my favorite. Okay, so this actually isn't Patrick Star related. I just found another one of these. Another variation of the Reptar cereal box. As you guys know, we're creating this world biggest collection of Reptar cereal boxes. Right here, we have the little mini one. They have the five below. We have the boxers right here. We have the original Reptar Crunch. We have the Reptar cereal. We have the one our friend Nickelodeon sent. The Reptar cereal pajama pants. We have the Reptar cereal bowl. And now we have the Reptar cereal cards. It's actually slightly different from this one. I thought it was the same box, but it's actually slightly different from all of that. It's more like this one, huh? It's the same as this one? Yeah, but it, like, the color is more orange rather than red. Oh, it's a different colored cereal. Oh, yeah, it's a whole different colored cereal, too. Yeah, they changed that as well. There we go. Now we have another Reptar cereal up there playing cards. And again, guys, everything in this video you guys can find on Entertainment Earth, and they have a lot of awesome SpongeBob stuff, Naruto stuff, cartoon related stuff. I definitely recommend checking it out. So, this, I have to get the original way, which I do have but I have it in a different variation of the packaging but now I kind of want to get now that we have these ones and it's the freaking reaction figures dude these ones are so damn clean they're by super seven I love these things they're like your classic old school action figure but the quality on them is absolutely insane right here we have karate spongebob <laughs> I love the way these look on the back we have the entire set right here this is karate spongebob we have all of these ones but what happened was is we got them inside of a special limited release box which is this one right here it actually has all four of them in there but it's in a different packaging they're like the fries the burger different stuff like that and i even have a sealed one back up here but we still need to get those regular package blisters i think because they're just too cool now that i've seen these ones but let's see we have more of them in here okay and then what happened was they actually ran out of stock on this one right here the skeleton spongebob unfortunately you can see why though right because it's sick as hell yeah they ran out of stock on that one this is entertainment earth falls my fault the first time i gave them my dress i gave them the rock zip code so then by the time that I got my package the corrected they ended up you know running out of that one so they ended up sending me another one of that one just as like placeholder but I still need to get the skull pants let's see the other ones though next up right here man you know we got sponge gar and you know what for the longest time I thought that sponge gar and then the episode SB I think like nine three thousand or whatever it is the one where he goes in the past squidward so sponge gar is actually different I found out so there's two different versions I thought they were the same character for a long time but there's sponge Spongegar, which is in like the old episode where he goes back to the past and you see him, of course. But then there's another episode where they're like in the prehistoric time and they're like roasting it and it sort of has like one tooth and a unibrow. What? Spongegar. That's like what? a different version of him. But they're different timeline Spongebob's, I guess. But they look so similar. I thought they were the same. But that's Spongegar right there. We got a little damage on this one, unfortunately. But it looks like that happened in the shipping. But it's okay. Okay, and last but not least, thankfully, this one doesn't have any crazy damage on it, man. Woo! Oh, yes. The classic Band Geeks. One of the most iconic episodes in Spongebob. What is your biggest memory, like, with that episode? Do you remember, like, where you were when you first heard Sweet Victory? I remember how I felt. Powered, In right? my living room. But I just kind of felt like, 
like that kind of feeling just didn't make sense for a cartoon. Felt like so empowered, really. Honestly, like... I felt hyped. I mean, <laughs> that's today's word, but back then, like, I was just super excited and like hyped up. Yeah. So the thing is, is I actually have a memory is on the video now over there. The sample disc, like what it comes with, is Sweet Victory. So like, you know, I was poor, so like I just I watched that sample disc like, a lot of times until I got like other discs. So I watched that episode like at least 50, 60 times on that thing. Okay, and we got that ready to go. Parker is not ready to go because he is thinking about the video we're filming in a little bit here, which is Factor Fishy. Why? Because I can see you over there shaking your head and getting ready for the next video where he's got to eat this softy been, sardine pasta. Yeah, I've been uh, getting ready since last night. <laughs> you literally think about it since last night. That's how much he hates eating bad food. We all got our flaws. But we got the Factor Fishy. We're going to be playing a Spongebob trivia game. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You're not going to want to miss that. But anyway, guys, that's the first box right there. We got one more box, but this one's got something absolutely insane in it. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we got one big item in here I'm going to save for the end. But these are something we needed for the collection because we have two of them already right here. We have the Squidward one and we have the Figfin for Spongebob. They're a little scraped up. I got these at GameStop. I don't even know why they came like that, but it is what it is. I'm a little disappointed. He's not doing the thing. <laughs> Look at him though. He looks like he's upset because they didn't let him do the thing. <laughs> he's like, damn, they printed me wrong. But we have those two right there. I do not have the rest of them yet, but I got this one right here because I had to. I mean, like, you can't not get this one. And that is Mr. Krabs. Unfortunately, Mr. Krabs got, like, messed up in there. But we got them. No worries. I mean, I'm sure you saw, like, a penny on the ground. Yeah, exactly. You probably <laughs> saw these. I'm going to break off of this thing. <laughs> but it has plankton in there, and that's so cool. And then we have a Patrick one, which possibly could come with a chase. And, ah, oh, that's not a chase. It's unfortunately, we just have the regular one right here. There's a chase of him, I think. It's like he's smiling or something like that. But we do have the drooling Patrick, which is still pretty cool. So now we have all these. We still need Sandy, and we're missing the chase Patrick, and then we're done. Yeah, I really like them. I hope Funko makes some Funko Funko pins. That would be sweet. So this last item, I could not believe that was there. I have this in the collection already, and it's literally a statue that goes for like over $100 in the market, like on eBay, Mercari, anything like that that and that is the Patrick animators mannequin we have it over there I'll get a shot for you guys in a little bit but they had one on the website sealed brand new this is a, a box from 2003 brand new I don't know how entertainment earth even got these for $30 and it's right oh here my this is what box. you're talking about yes yeah. limited edition to 2,000 pieces if you go anywhere on eBay you go anywhere online these things are gonna cost you like I said over a hundred dollars a Spongebob one's like over 200 but the Patrick one's over a hundred, but I cannot believe we have one. And I'm gonna be keeping this one brand new sealed in the box because I know where my box for mine is somewhere, but it's really, really cool to have one just 100% sealed and never having been out. So let's get some shots of the one that I do have out of the box. And I think if you guys are interested, there's one more that's still left on the website for $30. Um. Well, <clears throat> there was. There was one? Yeah. How do you know? Well, you know, I took a peruse on the Entertainment Earth website and I saw that there was one left and I panicked and bought it. <laughs> okay, well, there apparently there's not another one up there. Did you use the uh, affiliate link? But of course. Okay, I'm okay with that then. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are interested to pick up anything else, maybe not this, but <laughs> maybe they'll restock it, I don't know. If you guys are interested in picking up anything else in this video, make sure you guys check it out on the Entertainment Earth website. Again, shout out to Entertainment Earth for sending this over. I Greatly appreciate it. We gotta add all this stuff to the collection. For that, you guys know the drill. Scan it! Okay guys, so for the fig pins, I went ahead and put them right back here. We're probably gonna need to make some space once we get the other ones, but they fit right here for right now. And there was a little bikini bottom sign that I ended up putting in storage, which I was actually kind of looking to take off because this side got ripped off at like the last house anyway. So unfortunately, this is the only side that's really usable. Who knows, I might even just put this in my bathroom. Okay, and down here we have our little plushy section. We still have Peppa over here. We got Spunky, all the guys down here. It runs Stimpy are the way back and holding everybody up. But right here, we're gonna put all of our Patricks because we have like kind of a little bit of collection of Patrick's here. So I figured we might as well put them all together for right now, right here. All right, so there we go. We got the little Patrick star corner right there. I think they're all so adorable. I love, especially the ones with the, the one tooth. And of course the animator mannequin, since we have one right over there, we're gonna get this one in storage because I just wanted to have one sealed in the box. I think this is a really awesome collector's item. Okay guys, make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys haven't already before you guys leave this video. And also check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video. I know you guys are gonna love it. It's an awesome Nickelodeon hunt. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rat Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. <laughs>